Now let's take a minute to appreciate the beauty of the rectus abdominis or what we know as the six pack muscle, which ironically, most people have eight, eight different blocks, which I'll talk about in a minute. And you've probably heard me mention multiple times that even though sometimes you can't see it on people because they might have inches of fat covering it up, everybody really does have a six pack muscle. But again, let's take a look at some of the components here. Here we have these tendinous intersections or tendinous inscriptions, depending on the anatomy book. And this is what actually separates your rectus abdominis into blocks. And on this one, like I said, most people have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just a little bit harder to see these lower blocks because we tend to pack on a little bit more adipose tissue down here. So it takes more work of fat loss to see these lower blocks. And there's also some connective tissues that are a little bit thicker down here, which we'll save for another video. Another component we need to mention is that center line called the linea alba. It just means white line. Now in this particular body, the linea alba separated a little bit, and this is called diastasis recti or rectus diastasis. Now this often happens because baby's growing so rapidly underneath that it can separate the two sides of the muscle. But with this particular body, it could have also been because of the immense amount of visceral fat underneath that potentially put pressure and separated those muscles.